Hello and welcome to part 2 of how to integrate Steam VR controller into VR Easy Scenes. If you followed us from part 1, welcome, you're ready to go. If you've just joined us, all you have to make sure is that you import the Steam VR plugin from the Unity Asset Store into your project. And once you've done that, you select and make sure that the camera rig is press prefab is present on your uh, game object hierarchy just for drag and then drop it. So in this tutorial we are going to set up and control a very simple FPS controller um, that is going to make um, our camera rig being able to be moved uh, in an FPS fashion in the forward, backwards, left and right. So to do so, what we have to do is make use of a script that comes with um, VR Easy called a VR Simple FPS Locomotion. And you you want to add it to the camera rig parent controller, parent game object. All right. So at first, it might look a little bit strange these properties that you have to set up: head, input time, etc. But once you understand them, they're quite straightforward. So the head property is no more than the physical game object representation of your headset. So in the case of when you use a normal main camera, this is the actual main camera game object. In the case of you, when you use a SteamVR prefab, this is the camera head. So we drag and drop the camera head into the VR, um, into the head, head property. That's done. And then the last thing we have to do is set up the input type. So the input type is the thing that is going to control how you move. Do you move using the Unity input system, i.e. the horizontal and the vertical axis, or do you want to use the SteamVR controller? So today we're interested on the SteamVR controller integration, so we'll select SteamVR. So when you select the SteamVR, um, the next thing that you have to set up is which of the controllers you want to track. Remember that we have a controller left and a controller right with SteamVR, so we, you can choose either of them to control movement of your character. In this case, we're going to use the controller right, so we drag and drop that into our track controller, and we should be good to go. Now, to control movement, we should use the D pad, the touch pad, that's on the um, Steam VR controller. So you can see on the game view when I press on the D-pad how that control uh, translates into movement of my character. If I press up, the player moves forward. If I press down, the player moves backwards. Same with pressing right or pressing left, you have horizontal movement. Now if I turn around, I would still move forward if I press forward and backwards if I press backwards. So these are local movements with respect to your headset and this is why we had to set up the head on the FPS locomotion. Alright, so that should be it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.